When you live in Winnipeg, and it's the middle of winter, what can you be proud of? When it's 33 below, and the wind instantly freezes your fingers as you fumble in the mailbox for the postcard with a picture of a beach and palm trees, and a short message from a friend holidaying in Florida and wishing you were there, where is the justice? When you're 10 minutes late in the morning and you discover some nut has pulled the plug from your car and then you remember you forgot to plug it in the night before. When you're standing on Portage Avenue waiting in a 26 mile an hour breeze for a bus and it finally arrives and you discover you don't have the exact change. In fact, you don't have any change because you left your wallet at the office. When you stand there with your hand frozen to the shovel after two hours of digging out your driveway, watching your neighbor with a new snowblower throwing it all back in again, and you want to scream, but nobody can hear you because the snowplow is making too much noise and it fills in the rest of your driveway. What is there to be proud of? When it's too cold to go skiing and the letter from your aunt in Vancouver is full of complaints about rain? When you finally get your car started after waiting for the serviceman for two and a half hours and then back into a telephone pole because the frost shield the cop told you you had to put on has a leak in it and you can't see out of your car anyway? When the whole world is one great, big, frozen icicle clinging to your chin as if it grew there, where is hope? Well, my friend, you can be proud. There is hope. Be proud. Proud of the fact you've survived. Take raw courage in your heart and fight on. Fight on with this thought growing in your head. Summer is only six 